Hello, confused nursing home residents. Please ask your caretaker to choose another video. At this point, it is pretty obvious that I'm an intellectual giant. Uh, every single video I produce makes it clear that the philosophers of our time look like second graders playing with their Lego Ninjago. It's also pretty evident that I will probably be securing the Nobel Peace Prize for gaming after having eradicated racism from public gaming lobbies by burning down the server warehouses with Molotov cocktails. But what remains to be seen is if I can defend my valor in intense battle against fellow intellectuals. Unfortunately, that is not what I have today. A stork dropped a small swaddled baby boy named Ethan is online on my doorstep, and he insisted to debate me on Nintendo's greatest gem, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you subscribe right now, I will fly to Japan and slap some sense into the Nintendo executives. No Mario Odyssey DLC? Why are you out of Okay, on to the video. Today we are doing a Breath of the Wild Village tier list, but I will be joined by a political interlocutor, Ethan is online. Ethan, say hi to the people. Uh, I'm prepared to destroy pretty much everything you say. Okay, so. I mean, <laughs> you look pretty weak. You look, no, you look pretty weak right now, but that's okay. I mean, you look like like you came out of a Build-A-Bear workshop 15 minutes ago. It's all right though, you know? I think I think we're gonna have fun with you it. You know, Ethan runs a delightful YouTube channel uh, that will be linked in the description. It is one of my favorites, unironically, but we are going to see if that translates into raw academic aptitude or if I'll stomp him like an anthill. Let's get into Ethan, it. Ethan, you might notice something interesting today. Uh, you might be out of your intellectual wheelhouse already because this tier list is in French. Do you speak French, Ethan? People have asked me before if I know what boff means, so I'd say so. Yeah, I'd say you have a bit of je ne sais quoi about you. Do you know, have you heard of him? Je ne Do you know sais him? Quoi? Yeah, he's kind of like the Daft Punk of southeastern France. Do you know him? Oh, yeah, he's kind of like the Dead Mouth 5 of France. Like the Marshmallow from Fortnite? Yeah, he's kind of like the Diplo of... Uh, of Marseille. Marseille. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> He's kind of like the Moby of Versailles. He's kind of like the square pusher of the Arc de Triomphe. Do you know that? So we have uh, we have five tiers here. Ethan, do you want to, you interested in reading these off? Uh, nope. I, I didn't, I didn't have anything planned for the rest of the video, so it's been a good <laughs> one. All right, let me read these off really quick. Uh, J'ai fini uh, my, uh, to English. <laughs> I will end my life. <laughs> The last thing I, I had no to say. idea that they would just beat all of our jokes in the first title. J'ai fini my vie, and it means I will end my life there. Oh, I assume they mean that's where they're retired. That sounds really dark when translated like that. And then there's second second tier is we feel good there. Third tier is sympathize. Sympathize. Yeah, I mean everybody knows sympathize. Come on, isn't that that guy that had that that show sympathize point oh? Is that him? <laughs> That was, that sucked. I'm really sorry. No, that was awesome. Then we have boff, which translates in English to boff, so. How do you pronounce it? Boff. Oh, it means just okay. Well, that makes sense. Banon juste non. That means, well, no, just no. So I'm thinking that maybe we change these to S, A, B, C, and D, uh, because we're not cowards and we're not Frenchmen. And I think those things are mostly exchangeable. But... I think we should definitely change S back to I will end my life there. Okay. I will. Let's get into it. Um, I, I Did you bring notes? Actually, I didn't, I didn't have a problem. <laughs> you know, pretty U.S. mail backpack. Pretty, no big deal. But... Yeah, U.S. mail. You just needed to flex your demographic upon me. Are you bisexual or bi-curious? Or by confident. I think by curious is the sexuality for cowards. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's it's like I couldn't pick the sexuality that can't pick. Yeah, I couldn't even choose to be a decisive. It's really pathetic. No, I really do think that um, people who are exploring their sexualities should be ashamed and should stop. Yeah. No, just yeah. Flip a coin. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Flip a coin. You're hetero. No, I'm also bisexual, which uh, I think is fine. You know who else is bisexual? Bella Thorne. I don't know actually if that's true. Hold on, I can't just throw <laughs> things out here. I'm just like, that's a really random fact. Getting worked up, bro. Yeah, you seem you seem really like triggered in an SJW sense over here. So I think we should probably just get into the tier list so that you know you're. I can see steam coming out of your ears, and I can like hear it sort of like like your teapot that's been left on the other. That's side. weird. I have headphones on, so yeah, I could I could tell because they're bulging on the sides. <laughs> Those earmuffs <laughs> are because they're filling with steam. Okay, well that's just the shitty design of my razor headphones. Oh, okay. So oh, razor. Okay, I didn't realize I was in the press of a billionaire here first uh first village so so what do you think is a good village to start off with let's uh let's lay this uh the fuck is coco rico that's caca rico idiot <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how i'm supposed to know that the french spell and pronounce everything wrong yeah but i'm not the one that chose this tier list oh so, uh, maybe next time so now you're gonna blame it on the trans person of color right 
All right, all right, Kakariko Village. Where, where are you feeling this one? You know, I, I feel like I trust you. What are your qualifications, by the way, to be you know rank and stuff like this? Well, first of all, I'm in a game design program at a very no, first of all, I'm in a game. Pro Sorry, no, continue. I go to Yale uh, for mm. video game design analysis and art. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing so well my first two years of undergrad that they actually promoted me to lecturer. Wow. Um, yeah. A real spit in the face to a lot of the part-time lecturers that teach six or seven classes. Yeah, only yeah, no. $20, just, a year. just keep giving mind-blowing head to the Ivy League academia. You know, keep on putting down marginalized people. I think that's a really good look for you in this debate. Well, you know, my TA, I think he is one of the gays, so... Oh, weird. I, I'd like to think I keep things kind of spread around. Game design major, you've got a lot of expertise, you've been playing games your whole life, um, and you know you know the ins and outs of these things. You've you know, talked with people who know the ins and outs of these things. I would like to sort of counter that with my own ethos, which is that I'm right and you're wrong. I'm checking my notes here, and I don't think you're having a lot of facts and logic right now. Oh, that's weird. I can send you a JSTOR link if you... I think you're actually shedding a lot of leftist tears right now. Oh, yeah. A lot of a lot of liberal tears all over my paper. Hold on. This this entire sheet is kind of fucked right and now. And all of your SJW sobbing. We need to get to this tier list. Uh, Kakariko is actually C tier. C tier. I really do want to sort of meet you in the, the marketplace of ideas here and, you know... No. Okay. <clears throat> I, I was trained never to concede to liberal yeah my bad sorry be it yeah no it is a c tier <sighs> see yeah i know i know i know sorry <clears throat> and that's what you call white privilege <laughs> <laughs> well you're not white you're bisexual <laughs> you're not white you're you're a game design major I thought, I thought. zora's domain what are we feeling for zora's domain i think a strong d tier on that one d tier for zora well i feel as though the art direction at the very least elevates it past that if you can't see that you might as well just be a uh, bumbling Neanderthal. This Neanderthal might just actually have observational skills in terms of real utility. Um, yeah, get back to me when you invent the wheel, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Zora's Domain doesn't provide a lot to the player. It doesn't, you know, there's maybe a handful of side quests, a subpar store, um, a really tedious and obnoxious way to repair guardian weapons. But yeah. other than that, Really, there's no reason to be. Yeah, there. I suppose I could agree with that, but I, I don't think it's it's necessarily D tier. I think we can compromise and maybe see it at a at a comfortable C, a, a light C to a strong D. Uh, yeah, you know, just like a Fantana. Review. I will concur with your horrific justifications for my correct opinion. Lurland Village is B, I think. I personally. What I do appreciate about Lurland Village is that it's kind of hidden away. I didn't discover yeah. it until like my second playthrough. Yeah. So I, I, I think I think I could actually agree with B on that. Yeah, one. I, I think just like the, you know the process of discovering it. Um, and realizing that there's still a good amount to do like around that sort of southeast section of the map. I think that might be my, my yeah. favorite section of the map just because it's not overutilized. You know, you get used to like the grassy plains. But on the other hand, the beach. <laughs> now that's a vacation spot. And the beach bordering on the jungle. Okay. Yeah, okay, you're 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 exhausting it a bit. You know, you're going a little far. On to the next one, though. Uh, we got Hot to Know Village. I think that I would definitely end my life there. Whether that means, you know, retiring or killing myself. It's a flip of the coin. Why not both? Uh, you could retire first. Well, what, are you going to kill yourself first, then retire? <laughs> it's the order of operations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't remember them teaching that as part of Pendus. Here, I, I have a hot Terrytown take. I think Terrytown is like B or C. Tier. I think Terrytown's actually A tier because it involves so much... Uh, it, it is a side quest in and of itself that allows you to repurchase the Hylian shield if you break it. Also it also allows you to repurchase uh, different sets of army, but uh, armor... Sorry, I am. Um, Put in ten <laughs> vine boom sound sorry, effects. Sorry. My law teacher would have would have spanked me with the newspaper for that one. The main appeal of Terrytown is the fact that it's a quest, like that you build the town yourself. If I came upon Terrytown in just a playthrough of the game, I would kind of be underwhelmed by it in terms of village design and everything. But that is the entire function of the town. That's why the town is pretty much only houses. Yeah, 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 a, yeah, 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 it yeah. It is yeah, okay. a representation of the player's agency. Agency. That's one of those weird communist words that I still don't understand. Um, wow. Well, <clears throat> all right, A to your dis. Let me say, you're a fierce debater. You know, I thought you would come in here and just be pure ideology, but uh, tell you what, you came in here, you read the Zelda Manifesto, and here we are. Both of us are, uh, you know, sort of exchanging ideas. I've written six or seven manifestos myself mm. as a gamer. That is something that is just another day in the life teenage white male experiencing ostracization i am 22 i am not a teenager but 22 are you sure i'm a doctorate candidate at yale uh, 22 a senior lecturer with tenure yeah no i thought you're nine right no no you're 10 10 and a half right you said 22 and i was like eh no this guy's got a baby face sorry <laughs>
No. Maybe clear out your ears next time if you're too busy here in CNN Live. Yeah, okay. Sorry if Anderson Cooper is yeah. hotter than you. Okay, I don't make the rules. You should see me in this suit. I'm see I'm seeing you in this suit right now. In fact. Well, then, no, you aren't. You, are, you aren't. I'm not? Wait, who's on the phone right now? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gerudo Town. You're Gerudo Town. No, my... Distant cousin to Tomato Town. <laughs> Oh, man, you cracked me up. But for real, let's do it with the pleasantries here. And, you know, let's really talk about it. I think Gerudo Town, strong candidate for us here. I would not end my life in Gerudo Town. Oh, okay. So you hate women? Yes, but that's aside from the fact. Oh. I think... <laughs> <laughs> where, where do you think that Gerudo Town belongs? What, what's your opinion on that? Gerudo Town could rest comfortably in C tier. C tier? Sorry, I'm getting a call right now. Oh, yeah, yeah the Great Depression called. They want their literacy rate back? Uh... Oh, because you're not educated and, you, and you're just spouting yeah. nonsense. That's weird. Do you have anything to say to them? Uh, I actually do. The Great Depression didn't even have cell phone. I don't know what you're talking about. Even. Alexander Graham Bell, these nuts, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying S tier. You're saying C tier. I feel like we could settle it at a B or A tier. And I feel like since my opinion is better because, you know, you're a dirt-tongued infant, uh, I'm, think I'm thinking A tier, maybe. If, unless you're... Scared I mean, that. I'm not the bastard child of goblins, so I don't think I would put it in A tier. Not goblins, but, but it's, if... it's bacoblins. Bacoblins. From the game. Yeah, so you clearly never used an air fryer. Goron Village. Listen, I have many opinions on this, but I'd like to turn it over to the white Brian David Gilbert. Ethan, what do you have to say about this? Brian <laughs> David Gilbert is also white. <laughs> He's not white. He works for Polygon. <laughs> Oh, wait, he's my Goron, Goron Village or Village Goron. Let me check my notes here. Yeah, let me check mine as well. I would have to say D tier. Yeah, it's saying that you're not supposed to give dogs loaded M9s. What the fuck? It's not actually an M9. Oh. It's a it's a Glock. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm safe then. Yeah, Goron is definitely D tier. I just feel like it's yeah. like a hassle to be there. And if you want to go there, you got to wear the ugly fire armor yeah. or take like a fire potion. And it's just, it's not a good time. Yeah. There's nothing even there anyway after you finish the quest. Like the journey getting there is, is like fun. I feel like getting to Zora's Domain is like almost like a grind because you just keep dying to the electric arrows. And then like, it's just not like- if you're bad at the game. Oh, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to let you know right now that I am actually a games journalist. Games journalist with pronouns. That's what I thought. Uh, of course, you couldn't even choose between blonde and brunette. This bisexual piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, you know, misspeaking the name of Village is nowhere near, you know, the, uh, the, 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 so <laughs> Korok Forest. <laughs> what are we thinking of on Korok Forest? Pat? I'd say B tier. Only... Almost exclusively because the music I find incredible. Yeah, and yeah. The rest of the village is confusing because I don't yeah. really know where it is. It's pretty, and you know, getting there is very magical. You know, you get the, um, spoiler alert, Master Sword. Wait, there's a Master Sword in the Zelda game? Listen, I know. I, I know. Hey, 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 remember? Remember what we said? Remember what we said? Not in public, okay? If you want Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You're not allowed to throw things in the aisles, okay? This is the Ro Ramden channel. <laughs> Looking dumb is the name of the game. <laughs> Korok Forest beats here. Also because of the performance drops. Every single time the Switch hits this village, mm, it like true. needs to go to the ICU. <laughs> <laughs> this shit starts like burning your hands. <laughs> Rito Village. I think Rito Village is, uh, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty good. But, uh, you know, I think it might be uh, A or B. I could put it comfortably in A. Again, the music is a reorchestration of Dragon Roost oh, Island yeah. from Wind Waker, which is a beautiful detail that took a little while for me to even notice. You know, I, I think that the uh, the music is really beautiful, and I would I would play that at my wedding. <laughs> now that I'm gonna now that I'm gonna have a wedding, right? Because you make a video with Ethan is online, and it all goes downhill from there. Well, right? you know, you're just <clears throat> gonna have too many DMs to sort through, asking who I am. Okay, kind of cute, but. I get weird gay vibes from him. Is that right? <laughs> Have you heard of bi? Do you know? Do you know bisexual? No, it's, it's this new. new thing. It, it just came out, if you will. It's all a rage. <laughs> all right, all right. And the last one. This is an unexpected one. I didn't know this would be on here. <laughs> I'm not prepared. The Hyrule ruins. You know, in front of the castle. Um, or or maybe it's sort of referring to the Hyrule ruins and the castle itself. If it was just the Hyrule ruins, it would be D tier. But I think the castle is like. Probably an S tier, an S tier piece of Breath of the Wild content, honestly. Well, I mean, like, you understand that a castle is not a village. Like, you're clearly conflating. Straw man, straw man, straw man, straw man. 
So, oh, sorry. No, straw man. Uh, thank you so much. Sorry. No, uh, 40k YouTube. You can afford people to bring you straws. What were you saying about the village? I, I think it's a D tier. I mean, it's not even a real village. I don't know why it's on here. Get it out. Yeah, no, you're right. It's sorry. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Continue. Stupid, 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 stupid. Do I keep going? One more. Stupid. Okay. Now that's looking like a great tier list right there, actually. I rest my case. Objection overruled. That's actually if you went to if you went to Columbia like I did, mm. not the school, the country. <laughs> You would know. <laughs> That's where they keep all the best judges in captivity. <laughs> you always walk into like a, a room and it's just like a ton of glass panels and then just some like, guys in like powdered wigs. What do judges wear? My bad. Um, I would I would say that's a pretty that's a pretty comprehensive tier list of the Breath of the Wild villages brought to you by two, you know, opposing sides. And I think this really shows that we can reach across the aisle and you know, somebody like me, a YouTuber, can talk to, you know, a bisexual a game design major which i think is just like kind of beautiful because at least as like a brown transgender person um you know i don't face the same struggles that you know a game design major. no you really don't and i don't think it's easy for you to kind of understand what i go through so i'm glad that you've yeah. taken the time to really reach out and uh understand my yeah. perspective at least a little yeah and it's like you know i'm trying to educate myself on like okay, what is Unity? You know, what is, like, nonlinear game design? Right. How does Unreal Engine 4, like, what is Crunch? How are these affecting you? But, like, I don't know. It's difficult, and I'm, like, you know, I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading theory, and I'm, like, educating myself. But I don't know. It's tough. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really trying to, like, advance myself and understand, you know, your um, people. Is that, is that okay to say about game designers? No, no please like, don't refer to us sorry. that way. Uh, sorry. Um, your, your community. Is that better? Yeah, much. Is that much more okay. uh, respectful yeah. that way? Yeah, and I hope you guys can vote soon. That's fucked up. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I some people are on the fence about that issue. So. I tell you what, Ethan, it was it was really great uh, to to have you on the on the channel today. Um, do you have a YouTube channel of your own? Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> we can just end the video here. Thank you guys so much. I do. I have a channel. It's called Ethan is Online. I do videos, so you can watch them. You're not selling anybody on that idea, but <laughs> no, good try though. Genu genuinely, Ethan is a uh, is one of the. Uh, the go-to commentary YouTubers for me right now. He's got he's got a sweet, soothing voice, like a Kenny G's clarinet. If a clarinet was a mouth. And Kenny G played the saxophone. No. Yep. No. Mm -hmm. Nope. 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 He's a saxophonist. <laughs> yes. Soprano saxophone. This is all his primary. Die. Saxophones look weird. Don't look at me in the eyes. All right. Well. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Really great having you today, Ethan. I do encourage you all to go check out his channel. Delightful. I watch it when I'm... Do I have to lie about watch it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I watch it like when I'm editing videos or when I'm going to go to bed or when anything. Because I watch content all the time. Because if I leave my brain alone, uh, it, things go wrong. So, uh, yeah, go subscribe to Ethan. You heard Ro, um, guys. If uh, yep. you ever want to fall asleep or have something on in the background that you're not paying attention to... I gotcha. So here's here's what's happening again, and I noticed this happening with our relationship. Is like you take things that I say, and you kind of demonize me for them. And I don't know if the audience is like getting this too, but I just I don't think it's a very cute look. Well, at least I look good. Anyways, go subscribe to Ethan. It's been a delightful to have him, and uh, you know, take care of yourselves, take care of others, be kind to yourselves and others, unless they're Ethan. And remember that you are loved, truly. As always, it's been a pleasure. Ethan, do you want to wave and say bye? No.